in this game, you get to the top right. You can see um, this tower. Well, no. In the screen, you can see the 15, the number. Yeah. The little eye next to it. That's your insight. And you get insight. That's the mechanic of the game is that you get insight whenever you see a boss. Uh-huh. And whenever you kill him. Because okay. the principle behind it is that if you see him, well, you get insight into the fact that it exists. And you also go crazy. And if you kill him... You'll go more crazy. So. You know how to kill him, so you get more, more insight. Um, but it also drives you crazy. It also drives you crazy. It, it doesn't... Insight, like high insight numbers, don't drive you crazy. No. But there are some bosses which can drive you crazy. They, they, they apply you frenzy. So burn you with you're yeah. more susceptible. Yeah. Yeah. And the higher your insight, the more susceptible you are. So the more you know, the more susceptible you are to getting Crazy. Crazy. That sounds counterintuitive. No, because no. because you it's it's one of the um, so we have to say that although this game is a bit Lovecraftian, it's not explicitly Lovecraft. So it doesn't have besides words like Eldritch and shit, it doesn't have Cthulhu and and no exactly. Lovecraft it's not Lovecraft. It's Lovecraftian. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. In, in in Lovecraft, a lot of um, investigators tend to get crazy because of the things they see, mm -hmm. because of the things they know. So you are more susceptible because of the vast knowledge that you have, and these things are not made for, for human comprehension. These things are beyond human perception mm -hmm. yeah. at all. And that's the whole point that Lovecraft tries to make and that the game tries to make, that there is a world yeah. out there which no matter what you do, this is beyond our reach, or beyond our comprehension. comprehension. And in a sense, it, it's mm. comparable to, to scientific knowledge because you try to comprehend something that there is in no way perceivable by human senses, like, for example, uh, dark matter or, or what happens in, in black holes, right? We can't possibly conceive it with human like senses, but we have developed ways of, of looking at it. Yeah, through so yeah, proxies. Yes. So this is what's what happens here. And once you witness it, once mm -hmm. you manage to, 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 to see it you, for yourself, you get crazy because your brain cannot handle it. Yeah. Okay, because it's beyond... Okay. Yes, it's, okay. like, it's like a virus, really. Yeah. Okay, so what is Alex supposed to do now? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use Madman's knowledge. So, in a way, I guess it's knowledge after all. Yeah. It's an yeah. item in your bag. Um, we have 15 now. I want you to use 25. Of Madman's or the great one? Uh, Madman's. It's enough. Use multiple. Use, multiple. use 25. So you saw the, the chapel just now that we were standing next to? And look a little to the left now. There's nothing there. Interesting. Okay. Now yeah, you go back to the lamp. But maybe it will appear. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. I've never done this live, so I don't know I don't if it'll work it like this. I don't... I think yeah. you have Maybe to reload, reload the area because of textures. Okay, I sure. guess it's, that that might be a thing. So let's do that. We could have used the bolt bolt hunter's mark. That would have been easier, but whatever. Um, <laughs> so what we've done now is we've given us a shitload of insight, and bec normally this there's two ways of making the event that we have created now uh, Where does to it unfold. Go? Uh, Back to the cathedral ward. That's this here? one. Oh, no, 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 first no. one. Yeah. First one. I'm slightly lost. <laughs> uh, no, is it the cathedral ward? Yeah, yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. um, there's two ways of making the event that we have created now happen, which is basically either beat a boss somewhere in the game, which a specific boss or any boss. A specific boss. Okay. Or get a certain amount of insight which is 40. Um, so now we're gonna go out the same building, same exit, and we're gonna look up again. Okay. Mm. Well. Well. Yeah, it's gonna go out, you kill those two guys. I think that's the best way to go about it because otherwise you're not gonna be there. No, like leave me super alone. Leave me alone. 
Even now. Um, yep. Kill number guy. two. Don't, there don't we, there the we go. And, then and we look up. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Ew. So. What is that? That. That's a boss. It is. To kill it? Actually, no, there no, is. No, no. There is a boss. There is a boss. That and I happen to have it ready as well. Yeah, but later. this isn't the one. This isn't the one. But this isn't the one. This is one of the. But what is it? It's called an amygdala. But. Yeah. It looks. Um. Looks bossy. It, it looks bossy. There's an area with. Multiple well, amygdalas. Well, it's not an area, it's the area, but after you kill one, then you get to know what they look like, so yeah. then you see them everywhere. Well, no, it's actually another boss that you kill, which is wrong, Yeah. to get to them to yeah, appear. Yeah, yeah. Um, the reason that they appear at that moment is because the knight in Bloodborne has different stages. You do yeah. a nightmare, which transpires in one night. So you start at what is it dusk? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And then it'll become um, was it more dusky or whatever, or it becomes darker. The sun will start to go red, or it's the moon. Moon goes red. Oh, you start at dawn then. And yeah, the moon goes red. And it's a nightmare. That yeah, it's in the night. So you start at dawn. Dawn is yeah. when the sun comes up. No, there's dusk. Oh, that, no. Dusk is when the sun goes down. Yeah, yeah. Dusk is when the sun goes down. <laughs> uh, so anyway, you kill Rom. You Thank kill you. Rom. Moon goes red. Things appear. Okay. Can I just ask? Has this creature been here the whole time? You yes. just didn't see yes. it. That's kind of creepy. That's so the there's whole all point. this stuff out there that you have no idea about until you know enough to see them. And until you see it, yeah, you don't have the insight. Mm -hmm. But when you see it. You get the insight. But this didn't give you extra insight in seeing no, it. No, you no, used this insight to see it. Uh, yeah. Do you have to fight it? Because it not looks yet. really... We can fight it. We can fight one. I have the I have the defiled dungeon amygdala version, which is the uh, disgusting one. Should we go in? But, um, no, this is actually where this part of the, the playthrough, I guess, ends. And... We go into the Lovecraftian part of the stream. Okay. Um, since we've done Lovecraft, just yeah. now with the whole Did I go back? Um, tentacle thing. Um, Tell Alice what to do. Yeah, I you suggest can to put the sound a bit higher. Go back. Yeah. What sound? All sound. The game sound. Right there. From this screen. game sound? No, no, no. From the I will I will change it. Okay. It was it was slightly. It was on late. seven, so maybe it was like no. I, I reduced it a little bit more because because the fights were kind of too loud. Oh, but maybe yeah. we can. I reduced it too much. I well, the, the, no, that's the thing. One. The fights are always super loud, and the yeah. rest of the game is super quiet. It's I'm like a movie. Gonna, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put the dot up to two, and this dot to four, and this dot to four, okay. and that should be okay. So where are we going? Um. Well, we're gonna exit character game. Switch? Exit game. Yeah, we're gonna character switch. Um, yeah, just exit. We're gonna go to the main menu. So, what we're gonna do now is switch to another character. There you go. Um, trying to do that because he's gonna continue playing. No, really? Yeah, I thought I was playing the DLC, not the dungeon. We I are to play. Oh, we because are. the dungeons are on this character. We're gonna switch character now. Yeah, mine, yeah. mine is you can't go back that far because you're standing up really nice. Okay. <laughs> I can't go back that far. You're like, like a fucking elf. No, no, you're fine. I can, but he's back too far. Um, Maria Elena. Yeah, that one. Just a disclaimer, it's been a long time since I played this game. I did finish so it. You're making excuses We're already? Gonna give yes. 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 Okay. Let's give Angus another try, because she says maybe he won't be echoing now, so let's give it, give it a go. Let's Why was he echoing even? I don't even know. <sighs> Press the video one on the So tiny. Meep me poop. Hello. Hello. Let's let's see if we have echo. Echo. Right, let's see that. It's no, it's, no, it's, it's okay. 
Seems All okay. right, let's 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 see. Maybe we can get this uh, to work because of course it would be a horrific evening without me. Okay, I'll uh, tell you where to go now, Kryn. Um, I'm sorry. You need to go to up towards the door of the 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 singing hunter's dream house. Yeah, Jesus, it's been such a long time. I saw back behind you. No, behind, behind you. you. Yeah, yeah that, that grave stone. And it's the Hunter's Nightmare headstone. Um, and we're going to go to the Astral Clock Tower. Ah, this is DLC stuff. This is DLC stuff. Um, it's a cool one. It's a cool one. I've, I've done a little speed run to get us up to this point. Um, because this is, I think, the most straightforward reference to Lovecraft in this game. Okay. It, it may be arguable, because maybe may, people will say, oh, but that guy looks like Cthulhu, so that is definitely more Lovecraftian. Um, I think we need to take a step back to talk about but this is. what Lovecraft is. Angus, have you read any Lovecraft? I've read a lot of Lovecraft, actually. Do you want to give <laughs> us a brief intro? A brief intro. Well, I guess um, the the most famous, oh, uh, of of course, of all the Lovecraftian horror is, is Cthulhu, which for some reason um, has managed to um, get into all sorts of uh, pop culture references, including little cuddly toys and mugs and things like that. But um, it's uh, yeah. So the whole I think you've already touched on the core. I think of of Love, Lovecraft in his writings is the idea is that there's this this world out there that is beyond our understanding which is populated by creatures and elder gods and all sorts of horrific beings that uh, are you know the theory of Lovecraft is that this, this world is actually right here he, he writes in a very sort of realistic way <laughs> even if it's uh, he doesn't write in this realistic style it's very very dense and it's very um, yeah how to put it very gothic style of writing in itself, Where's everybody going? but he does it, uh, this world to exist next to our world, literally next, so it could be the fact that we are in fact in a Lovecraftian world right now, and that we simply, because we, of course, haven't seen the horrors yet. No, we don't have the inside. Yet. I was just about to say. Oh, we can't see it? Oh, that's kind of creepy. <sighs> But he lived... <laughs> when, when did this... The, is he really called Lovecraft? His name? Yes. Yeah. He, he's, he's, called, he's called... Well, his, that's his last name, Lovecraft, yes. And um, one yes, of the H- reasons... HP, is that Harry Potter? Was, um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> is it something is it, Philip, right? I think it's Philip, yes. Um, I should know. Henry but, Philip or something? Harry, Henry... That's the only names I can think of. I'm, I'm the power of Google. <laughs> but so, the, one of the tragic things about Lovecraft himself is that he wasn't, um, he wasn't really a very famous author when he was alive. And he only became more, he's called Howard Phillips Lovecraft, by the way. Yeah. And he only, his writings became more popular later on. And one of the things that happened is because he didn't really uh, provide a good copyright that went over into an estate. So after his death, all his writings were basically up for grabs. So this was this huge, rich world, the Cthulhu mythos that he had developed. And it simply could be taken by other authors and um, other media creators and adapted to their own purposes. So there's a lot of Lovecraftian world writing still there even though the core works they were all written um, well before his death in 1937 but there's probably like a new Lovecraftian story published maybe every month I don't know it's a it's a huge huge so so he, it was kind of, of open the, access what, what? what the what the okay <laughs> <Yeah>, you died <laughs> It's <laughs> what happened? You ran past the trap bookcase. Oh, is it the trap? Yes. <laughs> there are multiple trap bookcases. Sure. Of course. So, hardy har. <laughs> so, um, so he was kind of, kind of, uh, uh, sort of accidentally open access. He was. I'm not sure if he's accidentally open access or not, but he's most definitely open access. 
and um, that's probably also is the reason why he is still so so very so very popular today. Because it, you can just take a lost, you can just take Cthulhu and write a story about it. It's not a copyrighted character. But so, I mean. Um, you could write about Harry Potter, yeah, could you? That's why you have to go to the family estate of, of Tolkien. The, his, his, his basically his people that are overseeing his legacy. And you have to ask, can I write a story within the Tolkien universe? And they really? Say no. I didn't know that. I thought you could just write anything. Well, you can write it, of course, but you're going to publish it. Like, yeah. you can put it on the internet somewhere, I'm sure. Bye! But, I mean, that's, that's, that's protected <laughs> under the <laughs> <laughs> you're dying in silly ways though it's not because of you're getting Listen, wrecked yeah, it's I, that you wreck yourself I know you need to check so, yourself interesting <laughs> check it check I yourself I like Lovecraft yeah. that it's very much steep in the past his his horrors so the horrors that are are visible nowadays or that could be visible nowadays were also there in our deep past and structured the way humanity evolved over time so in his writings there are lots of researchers among which uh, a couple of archaeologists as well that uh, because they have some understanding of what happened in the past they also become aware of, of this other world out there, of the, of the older elder gods and the extraterrestrial dimensional yeah. beings. Mm -hmm. okay. And they have this, this specific knowledge and that's, that's, that, that sort of leads them on this path to insanity. And what actually the Cthulhu himself is, um, it's interesting, he is um, the, the, the person that's the, the protagonist of that story, the, of the um, Call of Cthulhu, that's the most famous sort yeah. of initiatory book story. Yeah. That, that person ends up going to the Society for American Archaeology Museum in St. Louis in 1908 because he has found a little uh, statue of a. Uh, he uh, goes they, to the SAA? They, yeah. Yeah, he went to the SAAs. <laughs> it's, literally the, it's literally there in the book, in the, in the story, <clears throat> that he went, goes to the Society of American Archaeology Museum. And then he shows it, and then nobody at that meeting has any idea of what culture this particular little statue belongs to. The only thing that they can tell him is that it's very, very old. And oh. then he goes up on, on, on his own quest, and he finds out that it actually belongs to, comes from a, a city called Relais, something like that. I'm not sure if my pronunciation is correct. And that's where Cthulhu sleeps forever until he come, wakes up again and is going to destroy the earth. Yeah. And uh, there's people in the world that are aware of this, cultists, and they try and, and wake Cthulhu, for example, and they try and bring the elder gods back. But why would they wake him? Because he sounds pretty evil. Yeah, well, I mean, he's not necessarily evil, he's just not at all. We don't, all. We don't well, comprehend he's his... But he's like, well, I'm, that's whatever, I'm an elder god, I can do whatever I want. But why yeah. would you wake someone like that? Because, they, because some of the cultists, they either no, they don't... Not it's really, it's yeah. what they what they believe what they um, <laughs> it's their part of their <laughs> faith and they also think that they there is a possibility that they might get spared in a world world uh, ruled by Cthulhu. In, in the yeah, and, and, and if we look at it that way, many it's, of them. it's it's a religion. Of course, it's a religion. Well, it's <laughs> Oh, I don't want to. Let's not say that everybody that follows a religion is insane, but uh, that's, that's a very scary conversation. Well, to have. everything yeah. you've just been saying now. Nice. It is it's a bit like Father Gas Gascon, right? Yeah. Why would he do something like that? Why would yeah. he kill his own family? It's because of the understanding that he now has of this world. Yeah. That leads him to do these horrific well, things that seem from a normal perspective horrific, yeah. but actually mm -hmm. might make a lot of sense from his perspective. <laughs> yeah. But uh, and Cthulhu might be the the most well known uh, where, god, but he's not go there, he's not necessarily the the strongest one or the more powerful or whatever. There are other beings in the Lovecraftian Lo 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 lore that are more powerful and that are. They well, there rule. is actually one in World of Warcraft as well, isn't there? What? A Lovecraftian boss. There are Lovecraftian bosses, yeah, but they are not. 
It, they're not. What's his name? Cthulhu? It's it's Cthulhu, but all these yeah. like gods. But he's also derived from one of the elders that were there before uh, the, the realm of World of Warcraft was created. Right? Yeah. You uh, have other gods, and Zoth as well. Yeah. And Zoth. And uh, what's yeah. his face? The other god. Can't remember right now. But there are some which reflect a lot. So what is happening well. here? This looks bad. This is well. Oh, this is this is uh, this is DLC stuff. Um, so this is the, the stuff I know the least about, from what I can remember. Um, what you're looking at is the research lab of the boss that I killed earlier, Maria. Mm. Um, they were trying to get insight through yet another way if I recall correctly um it's yeah it's it's all very oozy and they yeah they swell and swell their heads and after a while they even become just a blob until they're completely consumed by whatever they're being infused with what the fuck is this uh, oh, this is the, the... Yeah, the ones that drop gems, so kill it. It looks like a pile Get of Get stuff. Ooh, chunk. Nice. But um, all yeah, this experimental this is stuff is, like, really creepy. Look up, by the way. I think the research hall is one of the most oh, impressive Oh, it's like a... It's like a wrapped up thing. In yeah. A, in a it's, well, it's one of them before they become completely... Well... It could be a uh, nice uh, archaeological faculty. It's oh, really yeah. cool, awesome. isn't it? It's really cool. Mm. Yeah. But God damn it. Oh my it's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they stuff hurts here. Okay, can you tell Kran where to go? Um okay, so if we're gonna continue, then I'm gonna tell Kran where to go. Uh yeah. Kran, go to the start menu. Wait. Well, no, she's the only survivor of all of this. She's the only one that's sent you. Um else. you can do stuff. Okay, Give stuff. her stuff that will. No, just tell him where. Yeah, it's it's stuff. No, 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 no. Too so far, no. Go back. Um, go to the use menu. Actually, the right part of the touchpad. I think it's in there. Press it. The right part of the touchpad. The new function of the PS4 controller. The the thing. <laughs> yeah, and use the left one. Both hunters marks. That way you go back to the last lantern without moving stuff. Sure. Not that it matters. These echoes because I'm not gonna level anymore. And I have all this stuff I need. Um We're gonna go in here. Angus hasn't seen this. Angus I think has dropped from my uh, Angus? I have not seen this one. Uh, <laughs> good. Yeah, I was just asking. Um <laughs> Well, no, 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 back. Yeah. It's, it looks like a dead end, but it's not. Continue to the clock. Is that a clock? It is the clock tower, right? Oh, it's from the inside. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. And move forward and hold up the celestial dial. Hold up. What? Huh? Move back. Read what it says. Bye. <laughs> okay. If you look closely, if you look closely on the clock, you should see some carol rooms as well. It's hard to spot unless. Uh, so um, yeah. We've changed the time. Well, no, no, no. What we've actually sure done we've is the we've time. the setting of the hours. Open up. A hole? Yeah, but we also changed time. Okay, stop here. Angus, Kran is gonna play, and as soon as you think or it, something comes to your mind, you just chat it out. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm in terms of video, I'm lagging a little bit, of course, because I don't really see your screen on Skype. But uh, I'll, I'll, so I'll share that probably thirty seconds later then. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. 
don't good the piece of advice, you can't win. I know. So yeah. <laughs> um, very cool. Um, turn to the right here. Yeah, you see these ships, right? I didn't say go right because they will you die. You can't swim. You just go right. Oh, no. <laughs> turn right. <laughs> turn right. I still recognize this, but it's the bit where Crane dies. <laughs> yeah, good, yeah good, good foresight. Um. Excellent uh, insight. We're not going to get anywhere. This, no, this is not true. Um, now, what I was going to point at is a bunch of shipwrecks. You're a dick. Yeah. I know. Um, so this point in the it's the, the re There's a really cool bit. The fact that those shipwrecks are actually visible from up top in one of the nightmare. You know the 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 nightmare, oh, not the nightmare of Menses, but uh, the other one. Yeah, yeah. No, with the weird rocks and everything, right? Yeah, there's, there's like the these ships. No. Oh no, no, no the other no, one. No. Yeah, no. yeah. There's these ships in the midair that you can see s sticking up through the clouds, like yeah. ship masts. Those are so we these above. ships. Oh shit. Don't go. But turn around now. More. Look behind you, even. It's a clock tower, right? Uh, but we, huh? But is it like sunk? And, and I, right? I, I don't know if we'll look see up. it, but if you look down into the water. Don't, don't and that's go the in. difficulty. Oh, there's a city. Did you see? There. Yeah. There. You see the reflection. There's that. A there's a city, city beneath it. That's Lovecraftian. That's Yarnum. That's Yarnum. Yeah. So we are, we are below Yarnum. Well, no. no, no we're, no, above, we're above. We're Yarnum. above Yarnum. But above Yarnum. But but the, the city we're seems like yeah upside down. So no, it's no, 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 it's no, not. No, no, it's not. It's you see it's the, the point is, uh, yeah. We're in the we're in the. S sky, but not, but on water, but yeah, we're on the other side, basically. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> yeah, but that is that is really Lovecraftian that everything is submerged and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. So continue. Uh, no. So the uh, Skivarella is is a, is a submerged city, but uh, what it is also, this is perhaps a little bit of non Euclidean, so it's not a, a, a type of geographical system that we could understand on, in the, the normal. Okay way of perceiving reality. Uh, so there's Euclid, Euclid, the Euclidean world, Euclidean space, and there's non-Euclidean space. And this is a big important bit of, of Lovecraft as well. The idea well, we're, we're specs in the cosmos, aren't we? Uh, sorry? We're specs in the cosmos. This, that's something that he very often refers to. Wow, this looks super cool. Yes, um, don't even understand the cosmos as, as, as little specks. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, don't kill yourself. Yeah, I have difficulty with seeing where I can <laughs> It's go. hard, isn't it? I had it the first time. Well, you can go straight. I like how everything straight. is like barnacle covered. It makes me feel uh, much less creeped out. There should be a, a lantern straight ahead. Go light it, because you're going to die a lot. Um, I don't know. The barnacles make me feel like this yes. is more normal. And, and the barnacles and all and all the nets. Is it starting to ring a bell, Angus? It's a uh, fishing village. I don't. <laughs> yes. It's starting to ring a bell. Ew. And there's and there's fish people and it's a fishing village. Ew! You ruined my whole barnacled reality. <laughs> no, it's not starting to ring a bell. Wait, is this Davy Jones's locker? Very close, but oh. no. Um, oh yeah, I would say yeah. I mean, it's it's a little bit like piratey, like uh, like yeah. one of those pirate ships um, but from the Pirates of the Caribbean. It doesn't ring a bell yet further, other than that. Are you trying to ring a? Are you a, a woman with a sinister bell? No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> but I'm trying to ring your bell here. Uh, <laughs> the, the Lovecraftian <laughs> bell should ring by now. Um. I'll, I'll, I'll just say it then, because this, basically, is one for one, the Shadow of Rinsmuk. Oh, of course it is. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah we can one just of the other hear Angus's mind go... <laughs> <laughs> or he just says yes, because... 
101 this. One yes. It, it is, it is literally a fishing village that was filled with people admiring oh, fish. an old god yeah. under the sea. And that from, I don't know if it's from insanity or whatever because I didn't read the book, but they eventually turned into fish people themselves. And yeah, now comes and a bit of... One of these precursor races. Yeah. More or less to... to to, to people. Mm, that's a fat juicy gem right there. Um, all right, now to go back to Bloodborne a little, um, the lore of this town is that. Oh no, I'm just I'm gonna let this happen. I'm gonna let this transpire. Whoa, because whoa. This, is, this is the part where crime oh, dies. When I need it, I, I have a nice link and a fish for you. Oh, ah, cool. You um, I, I'm gonna. Let's, let's watch crime die now. Let's just. Enjoy, enjoy that. Now, of course, he doesn't want to die because we, we said that he was gone. But, but he has all these. No, 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 but it's just gone. It's gone. Well, you can attack that dude. Yeah. Don't go tell kill him, him what to do. Let go kill him. Let then it, it'll stop. Let him suffer. Yay. All, all problem solved. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's really nice how Bloodborne. Clearly builds on this legacy of, of Lovecraft and that's then it's unbeatable. Watch, 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 watch crime die. Watch crime die. This is this is the this is the, the, the fish the fish man. He'll fuck up crime. <laughs> oh this is so nice though. It's a big mofo. <laughs> This is. I don't mind. This is Bloodborne. Arguably, <laughs> this is <laughs> what I think you said. What people That's say, it. arguably, that this is these one. This one is the hardest thing they fought. Um. Compared to Definitely. maybe number two to the hunter in the cathedral? Sure. Um, because there's also a well in the middle of that square, right? Mm -hmm. like would you, would you, for it. our entertainment, go down the well? No. <laughs> no, no, let's, let's, let's continue with the point of Mother Okay, Mother, sorry, so. Angus, you were saying something about the Lovecraft and the Bloodborne. Well, I, I think that it's quite interesting that Bloodborne takes on this legacy of, of Lovecraft, Lovecraftian horror, and yeah. then does its own thing with it. And Lovecraftian horror takes on the legacy of, of Gothic horror and does its own thing with it. That's, I think, so it's a nice little evolution that's going on in terms of, but all of it is this building on the sense that this past that we have and the world that we see today is fundamentally uh, not the way that we understand it. Yes. So that's the, that's oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, 